Malaysia, diabetes is a major public health concern of 30, affecting 2.8 million individuals. Based on the National Health and Mobility Survey 2019, there are approximately 3.9 million Malaysians living with diabetes. The prevalence rate has risen from 13.4% in 2015 to 18.3% in 2019. Okay. Diabetes is a disease that occurs when your blood glucose, also called blood sugar, is too high. Diabetes happens when your body isn't able to take up sugar or glucose into its cells and use it for energy. So this results in a build up of extra sugar in your bloodstream and that's how diabetes occur. And this even can uh, lead to serious illness such as heart attack, kidney damage, nerve damage. Problem statement. The first step in patient treatment is to monitor glucose levels. Currently, this is most commonly done using enzymatic stripes. This approach suffers from several limitations, namely, it requires a blood sample and is therefore invasive. The quality and the stability of the enzymatic stripes vary widely, and the patient is burdened by performing the measurement themselves and finger pricking which have to grow to be discomfort, fear and pain to sufferers since they have to display their blood glucose stage severely inside a day. Next, research methodology. Globally, around 463 million people live with diabetes while in Malaysia, it is estimated that 3.9 million, which is 18.3% of the adult population, had raised blood sugar in 2020. These numbers are expected to grow. From research, we found that there are the percentage of people who are diagnosed with diabetes and percentage of people who did not know that they have diabetes. On the other side, there are percentage of diabetes people according age groups. Research has shown conclusively that improved glucose control reduces the long-term complication of diabetes. According to the American Diabetes Association, self-monitoring of blood glucose has a positive impact on the outcome. According to research paper, these states are found having the highest percentage of diabetes across state in Malaysia. As for diabetes management, a study in major, the World Health Organization has estimated that in 2030, Malaysia would have a total number of 2.48 million diabetics. Project recommended solution. To enforce the near infrared spectroscopy, a LED that emits mild at 940 mm was chosen and used. The sensing unit comprises NRI light sensor, which is that the most important part of the proposed module. To realize the reflected light, a photo diode with an electromagnetic sensitivity light between was also used. Then, Arduino microcontroller is the coronary heart of the glucometer. Okay. This is used for automatic control, calculation and processing of data. When there is excessive blood circulation in the body, the blood beats through the finger and as quickly as the finger of the patient is kept between the sensor, it will experience the blood sugar stage through the blood sugar sensor. Smart solution comes with good benefits such as materials are relatively low in cost and other than that, my proposed project can avoid difficulty to perform the monitor and easy to operate. Not only that, it also do not longer require a blood draw via finger pricks for every test which reasons pain and inconvenience. And finally, 
it will alert if the blood glucose level is higher. How to open it? Let's look at my non-invasive NIR glucose measurement model. First of all, we have to connect the USB through battery or laptop to switch it on. Then we have to wait few seconds to settle it down until there is light and word glucose monitoring. Once there is command the gun switch, we can insert our finger in between the NRI LED and photo diode. Then we have to press the switch button to detect the glucose level. Once the glucose level is detected and processed, it will display on the LCD. Six and higher than that, the buzzer will sound on. Thanks for watching.